My name is Unite the Clans, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build this snowy river cabin. I love the way it looks, and we're going to build this thing together. Let's do it. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in yo life with some ARK Survival Evolved from the epic Iron Mine server. And today we are gonna be doing a build. I probably showed you what it looks like at the beginning of this video. So I am just gonna get started on this snowy hill behind me on the banks of this gorgeous river. Can't wait to start. Nothing here is particularly flat, guys. So uh, I'm gonna get us started. The basic frame of this building is gonna be a three by Oh no wait, sorry, a four by three. Uh, so I'm gonna start with these stone foundations on a spot that I think looks pretty pretty safe. And we're gonna try and lay out a two by four here. Uh, so I'll do that. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Guys, the last time I did a build was the Firewatch Tower and I really did that like a tutorial, taking you guys away from me every few minutes and explaining what I was doing. I think if I just build, and talk you guys will be able to follow what i'm doing if you do want to recreate this build in your world so that is the house foundation the next thing we got to do is build a front porch uh, and i'm going to try and do it with the wood foundations i'm afraid the ground's going to be a little too far off at this oh apparently i can do it there and there oh and there can we do it here too no, not at that spot. So why don't I do it in the two middle spots and I'll use ceilings on the other two. Uh, maybe I will get out of my way, Ankylo. I do not want to pick a fight with you, dude. Keep moving. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep you with me for as much of this build as possible. Let's see if I can just clamp onto that one. I like it. And I know I can do one there. Let's see if it'll let me do one over here. I don't think so. No, no, we're too far off the ground at this point. So just to keep it symmetrical, I'm not gonna go ahead and put one on the other side, but what I will do is take these wooden ceilings and throw those right here and right here. And then we'll have to back up and take a look. Is that gonna look silly? I think that could be okay. Yeah, with the plans that I got in the works, that's gonna be perfect. We're gonna have uh, pillars on either side, so I think this is gonna work out fine. Uh, now the idea is to get started on the main floor, and our main floor is gonna be made mostly of stone. So let me grab the building supplies I need of all my stone walls, and I'll come back to you. So we are going to start with our uh, lower level walls, and I'm gonna do two doors on the front. I never do that. Uh, the real tricky thing here is when you have uh, platforms on either side you got to make sure it's locked onto the right one and that it's facing the right way which we managed to do there and that should make this one lock in which I just placed the wrong piece so of course that's wrong uh, let me see if I can get this in the right spot e oh okay come on play along fool all right give me let me oh I, that's not right okay let me bust this one up and hopefully I'm still going to have enough stone walls to get the job done. That looks perfect. And it is. Cool. And I'm going to do windows on uh, either side here. Yeah, I'm not quite going to have enough, am I? Oh, I think... Yeah, we're in a fight. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. So, a little bit of advice from a fellow noob. If you have these in place before you start placing your walls, you are only going to have trouble. I have ruined so many window frames because at the last minute it switches and locks on there, even when it, it looks like it's not moving at all. So we'll place that one. I'll replace this shortly. Uh, so we got uh, two doorways, two windowed walls. I'm going to go ahead and throw some doors in there. It would be cool if I could make the door handle flip side so that this is symmetrical, but we'll deal with what we got. Uh, so this uh, stone area is going to be the interior of your house. So I have my uh, inventory chock full at the moment of stone walls. So we're going to go ahead and slap those in. I shouldn't have too much trouble with these. And they seem to be going in pretty smoothly. Uh, I think I had had a couple different ideas in the works uh, for how to do the mix of windowed walls and walls. But I have four of the regular walls left. And I can't think of where else in this build 
they're required. So I'm going to do a mix. I'm going to have windows lined up with the windows and walls lined up with the door so we can maybe put a fireplace right in the center. So I'll go ahead and throw these ones down and then we'll use our last couple uh, windowed walls. And I guess I brought extras knowing what a disaster this might be. There you go. So that's your first level, guys. Really short, smooth, simple. Uh, what we're planning next is a second level that includes an overhang. So if I still have uh, wooden ceilings, yes, I do. Uh, this is going to be the floor whoops, of your second level. And it's just going to be, uh, I hope I'm doing this right, but it's going to look something like this. Right? Then we're going to build a structure over uh, up top. I'm going to have pillars that run through and support it. And I think we're going to run an arched roof. We're going to have an arch on this side, but we're also going to have a front arch. So this is going to look like a gable. So let's get ourselves started on this upper level with some windowed walls. And I'll put one uh, on each side here. And then I think we're going to do some standard wood walls on the side. Uh, you don't want that whole room to be windowed. Uh, so let me go ahead and throw that up there. And then we're going to look at supporting this with pillars. I'm not sure quite how this is going to work out because of the terrain. This design is coming out slightly different than the one that I built in uh, my village, just sort of as a test. So I think what I want to do, do I have fence foundations? Now we'll save that for a bit. Uh, let us start working on the gables for this place. So let's get these on the hot bar as well. Uh, and I'm thinking... So this one is right. So that one ought to go up here. Per I think that works. Sorry, it's nighttime and that moon is full and bright. So, and then I'll go with nine, uh, I think. And that should balance it out. So that's the rough shape of your overhang. And while we're at it, let's uh, get started. Uh, my, my plan is wherever you had windowed walls on the lower level, uh, Whichever side, like here you have it on the front and the back. On the next level, we're going to have it on the ends. So I'm going to go ahead and put one here, put one here, and then we can start uh, adding in the frame for this. And we're going to do stone roof on top. Uh, so let me go repeat that process down this end. And things are working out perfectly, I think, uh, materials-wise. I seem to have prepared properly for this build, like I rarely do. Uh, and this is coming together quicker than I thought. So what we need now is to take advantage of uh, whatever pieces I got left. And we'll just start filling in back here. And you can see how quickly a house can come together when you prepare the materials in advance. Now, I don't even do that when I'm just building for fun. But when I'm going to be building on camera, that's the way I like to do it. So that you guys aren't sitting around waiting for me to gather materials. And so that I'm not getting lost I'm not losing track of the concept of the build while out gathering materials. I get to start this thing and finish it all in one sitting, and I find my builds come out a lot better when I can do it like that. Let's shed a little light on the situation. Uh, my gamma is a little up because it's nighttime, but I think that's looking good, guys. Uh, so if you step inside, you see we've mostly got the shape of this thing. I think the time has come for the roof. Uh, so give me a sec to get all the materials ready, and we will go from there. All right, now building on Quet's back is always a risky proposition, I think, because this thing is hovering ever so slightly, but you guys already get the idea of how this roof is supposed to gather. If I can just kind of stay steady enough. There you go. That's your Quet's back. Oh, yeah. But there's a pattern to it, so if you see it uh, move on you, you know, uh, it's going to repeat that move, but like four seconds later. So we're steady. Steady. Okay, I'm gonna just place that one and I think this side is nearly there uh, This video is actually coming together quicker than I thought guys. So I got time to talk um, Tonight I didn't think I was gonna record I, I worked all day today And then I got home and every Friday night I'm recording this on a Friday if you're seeing it on a Saturday 
cheers to me for staying up even later to edit. Uh, I don't think I can do that one. Let's just see if I can land Beast and do this on foot because he's making a lot of noise. His wings getting in the way. Yeah, I can do this on foot. So let's uh, let's do that. Yeah, I, I worked all day, and then every Friday night I get together with some combination of SW Chris and McMastodon, and we record together as a trio or often a duo because we're all busy people. Oh God. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, things are normal and sane again. He's not even stabler on the ground, is he? This is worse. All right, I'm going to place that one. Yeah, so we record every Friday night, guys. So I knew I wanted to get this episode, uh, which I think I'm going to call Snowy River Cabin. Because that's a romantic name. I knew I wanted to get this one done for you guys. And so I was hoping I'd have time after work. But I got home, I walked the dogs, and next thing I knew it was time to get together with Mick and Chris and record. Uh, you guys always get the videos with Mick and Chris on Thursdays. I think at 3 p.m. my time, which is Eastern. Um, so uh, this one you will definitely get beforehand. But we just finished recording. And i got to get myself up on that roof, I think, to do this properly. Um... Yeah, we just finished recording, and it was 1 in the morning when we finished up, and I thought, okay, well, I didn't get to record before, let's just call it a night. But I uh, I made a sort of New Year's resolution a little while ago to make a video a day, and it's not sort of like I don't have to catch up if I you know, miss a day here or there. Uh, if I screw up and forget to record or life gets too busy, I don't have to catch up. But every day that I can, I'm going to try and bring you guys a video. And so far, oh, that worked okay, even though it switched spots on me. Uh, oh, okay. It's been going well so far. And um, I was looking at it, and I thought, it's 1 a.m. I don't have to be up early tomorrow. Let's just do it. Let's just stay up and record it. Whether I have the energy to stay up and edit it and get it to you Saturday morning, I don't know. But if I can, I will. Saturday morning is like the best time for me to schedule a video. The most of you guys are around and watching. So I'll do my best to get it out. But I, uh, I'm i working hard, guys. i uh small-time YouTuber, not a big channel. But I'm working my butt off to make it a big channel. Just like I... Uh, I got big plans for this channel, and ARC so far has been a great way to do it. Uh, so that's the rough frame of the house. Uh, the one thing that we are missing is pillars. Now, I think if you have an overhang like I've got here, you're going to want to support it. And um, I, I'm not sure exactly how well this is going to work, but the fence foundation is always a good trick to getting a pillar to go where you want it to go. So we're going to put one of those on the front. Actually, let's hide it in the middle here, if I can do that. I think that should... Oh, that's not going to work for me, is it? It might. Okay. Let's see if I can put one right on the freaking corner. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to look. It's not perfect. Are you guys in another fight? Stop picking fights. Dude, that was a 116. Good job, guys. My wolf leveling up. So I didn't have ramps on my, my test one. And I can't put them there because of the doors. I wish you could just center a door. But you can't. So we're going to go ahead and put them on the corner. It looks a little derp, admittedly. It doesn't touch the ground if you're paying attention. And it's hanging out the side. But uh, maybe you guys can work out a better solution. If you do, yeah, hit me up in the comments or tweet me. And say, hey, UTC, you should have done it like this. Because nobody's giving me building advice. I'm just figuring this all out all by my lonesome. Uh, so hopefully I place that one in the same place. And this is going to lock in the same place. That looks symmetrical symmetrical enough that I don't give a crap. So that looks cool to me. I think I'm going to leave it as is. And then we have got to figure out how to decorate the interior of this place. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I've got a bunch of materials, chairs, fireplaces, torches. We are going to decorate this place and make it look perfect. But when you build this in your own world, decorate it however the heck you want. If this is going to be your main base, you're going to want smithy and a forge, uh, maybe a generator and a fridge and an industrial cooker. But for me, I just want this to look good. So most of the stuff that's going to go in here is cosmetic. But uh, let's get to it. Oh, cool. And it's snowing. How picturesque. Okay, let's get inside and start decorating. So you can see everything I've got here, guys. What do we got? What do we got? Uh... Railings. Let's get those on the bar. Uh, fireplace. I know I'm starting with that. Standing torches. We're definitely going to use those. And I think that's it for now. Uh, so the uh, railings, I think I'm going to throw them here and here. 
and I'll do the same thing on this side, even though I can't really get out there. Uh, whoops, something about the height of one and the height of the other, I have to crouch to get out here. But that's all good with me. Um, so we are, uh, I think, going to go with the fireplace next. Now, when I built this in my own village, guys, what I did was I created a little one-by-one -one room right here on this foundation. And I did the same thing on this foundation. So if you need some storage, that's a good way to do it. I did a wall here, and I did a door frame here, and I didn't put a door on it. So you basically just had a little room. I put a cooking pot in one, and I put some storage chests in the other. Because this one's for show storage isn't really necessary as far as i know no one's gonna live here and if anyone decides to they are welcome to do to put some stuff in here Here, maybe i'll just put a bed up there and call it a day or we'll just leave that for storage that could work too um so let's start with our massive fireplace i think front and center this is a snowy winter cabin i tell you the first thing you want to see when you walk in this place is a roaring raging fire and that looks fairly centered but i'm not living here so let's just place it all right cool and that's gonna stick out the roof let's go have a look i'm sure i'm sure it's sticking out pretty good and you get a good chimney effect there yeah yeah i love it okay uh i i think i have some stuff on me to put toss into that fireplace uh let's get that burning let's get the real effects going Yes. Light it up. Beauty. Okay. All right. What's next? I got two standing torches. I'm going to do my standard cheesy thing. I'll just put one on each side out here. And I'll fill that with a bunch of thatch. And we'll light that baby up. And I'll put another one in the middle on the other side. Uh, if this was in like a warm biome, I'd put chairs on these little porches. Uh, so if you're building this somewhere warm where you got a great view, do that because I think that would look great. Uh, but I only brought the one chair, so what I think I'm going to do is sit it near uh, near the fire or directly in front of the fire. But we'll see what else I brought along. i uh, got mortar and pestle, which I didn't bring a table, so that's got to go on the floor. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hold on to that. I don't think it's going to add to this build, and I can maybe use it somewhere valuable. Uh, so we got some tons of storage, so I might as well throw that in there. If someone adopts this place, uh, so be it. Uh, let's uh, make the storage symmetrical, too. So maybe, maybe we'll put a big one, like, on either side. Is that going to look dumb? Ah, we got plenty of places to put big ones. Why don't we go... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, no, nope. you know what? I'm back to where I started. Let's go on either side of the fireplace. Okay, cool. So I don't think that looks bad at all. The one thing I should have brought is some reinforced window pane shutters, whatever you call them, because that's bright as heck. Uh, and then I got small storage, which I think, while we're, since we don't already have a plan for what to do with up here, I'll just use that as some temporary storage. Uh, the one thing that's really cheering me up, guys, I'm getting comments almost every freaking day from people saying, hey, new subscriber, I don't understand how this channel isn't bigger. You're so much better than Slipgator, which only one person said, but I'll take it. Um, he's the, probably the biggest, like, ARC YouTuber known for ARC. I know there's a lot of big YouTubers playing on the, his server that had been around for a long time, but they didn't start with that. And really he didn't either, but that's what got his channel big. And people saying, hey, good, like, I'm getting those all the time now. People going like, what, you have 400 subscribers? I love, this is a great series. I'll take it, guys. Those comments put a giant smile on my face. I'm not gonna call anybody out, but there's a bunch of you guys saying that kind of stuff. And uh, just know you're cheering me up, you're powering me on. Uh, you're keeping me inspired to do what I do. Keep making great videos for you guys, and that's all I can ask. And we got a bed. We got just the one bed, so I'm going to tuck it in a corner, say, over here. I like that. And pff, what's left? I got almost nothing. I think this place is pretty much done. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'll just put a chair in front of the fire. And you can rotate these after you place them. So you click, and then you rotate, and you're done. Okay. That's it, guys. This has been Unite the Clan's Ark Snowy River Cabin Build. Really simple. And if you're one of my tribe mates over here on the Iron Mind server, 
and you're looking for a place to live, this one's up for grabs. And if you're looking for a place to build, and it's this place, destroy this thing. Because I'm, I'm pretty happy where I live, but I really wanted to build something in a snowy environment, and dang, did we not do that, guys. I think it looks pretty great. I like this build. You got smoke billowing out the chimney, you got snowy trees in the background, giant mountains, clouds, and a cool looking river. View slightly obstructed by this giant glowing green barrier. Waterfall just up the way. Man, this is picturesque. Uh, I may come spend my, my weekends here, do a little hunting, a little saber cat hunting or something like that. Anyway, I like it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're brand new to this channel, my name is Unite the Clans, and I do an F ton of building here on the Iron Mind server. So tune in, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you for all the great comments and all the support on this series. I'm loving every minute of it. Can't wait to keep doing more builds for all y'all. I will see you in the next episode. I feel strange from myself tonight. You stay cool and right.